Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. We're going to get started here in a few minutes. Yeah. Let some people get on and find me so they can come stamp with us and have fun. Let's see, I hope I've done everything and pressed everything that I'm supposed to be pressing sometimes. <clears throat> sometimes I don't, so I make a mess. Hi, Barbara and Gail and Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining me. We're going to make something fun tonight. Well, I try to make something fun all the time. Hi, Laura. I try to make something fun all the time. So I know it's good to see you, too. <laughs> good to see you, too. Hi, Sonia. Hey, Laura. Yeah, so... I am going to go ahead and get started. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started, and we are going to make something. We are using today the Christmas Gleaming Set. And um, before I get started, I always, I always forget to say things when I get started. Thank you for sharing, Sonia. I appreciate that. Um, let's see couple things. One, the online extra um, extravaganza is going on. I think you guys have probably seen my post. Um, the sale is going on. It's like 15% off of certain items and things like that. Thank you guys so much who, for all of you who have already taken advantage of that. Um, I definitely appreciate that. The second thing is um, December 3rd. I think if you've seen my calendar um, online, December 3rd, or not December 3rd, December 4th, we are going to start, I'm going to do something different, you guys, um, it's not going to be crazy different, but it'll be a little different, and I'm going to do a series, it's going to be um, something like the weeks to Christmas or something like that, so um, we are going to do something fun, you know, do something fun, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, hopefully all is well. And you guys can hear me okay? Can everybody hear me okay? Can you guys just let me know in the comments or something if you can hear me all right? And then I am going to go ahead and get started. I hope everything is moving well. I don't see, I don't see, yeah, hopefully, hold on a second. Maybe if I do that. I don't know. Okay. Well, you guys let me know if everything is okay. Thank you, Laura. Thank you so much. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We are, um, we're going to be using the Christmas Gleaming, which is a beautiful stamp set, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, we're going to be using this stamp set. We're going to be using the Pretty Peacock because Pretty Peacock is absolutely gorgeous. Hi, Cynthia. And, um, We've got some other elements going on here. We're going to be using the copper a lot. These are star designer elements. So we're going to be using those and some other good stuff and one or two of our um, um, stamps and stuff like that. I want to put this, I'm going to put this in the corner so you guys can see this, but I'm going to do a project sheet like I did last week. I'm going to do this and then put it in the... Um, put it in the file section. So you guys let, you know, make sure I, I know that it's there, but I'm going to put it in the file section, but I'm going to put this up there and let me show you what we're, we're making before I do anything. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Chris. I am going to make this disc disclaimer. I am not, I don't drink, but I do. I love these little cute little things, these um, sparkling red grape and the white grape, but this is what we're making today. We're going to make this cute little, um, it's not really wine. <laughs> it's more of a, a sparkling cider kind of thing. But we're going to make this tonight. And I'm going to show you, it's so easy to put together. It really is. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Sandy. It's so easy to put together. So we're going to put this together. See how it, it kind of goes like this and it hangs on. So you can give this as a gift. All right, you can give this as a gift and I promise you it is super, super easy. Okay, so we're going to make this right now. And let's see, keep my cheat sheets over here so you guys can see that if you need to, you want to write it down and stuff like that. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut out 
our images or images our we need some pieces cut out after we stamp because I'm going to use this piece this is from the hi Michelle hi Tanya hey guys hi this is from the hexagon not hexagon what is it called I forget like every time what they're called they are the stitched nested dies like they don't have a name for whatever they you know whatever the shape is they don't have that but we're going to use this one and i'll also put that you know in the um in the project sheet so let's this is what i'm going to do so if you notice on here i'm going to take this off of here but you notice on here we have this that says deck the halls so i only want that part the whole stamp itself the image itself says deck the halls with bowels of holly fa la 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 i always you got to finish saying it's like what's his name roger rabbit it's like shave and haircut you can't just not end it so um deck the halls we are going to use that part but i've got this little purple tape here and what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to take a piece of this off and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I just want that one piece of that stamp, which I put far away for some reason. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover this up. I'm covering up the bottom part of the stamp. Can you guys see that? So I'm just covering up this part because I really only want this deck the halls part, just that part there. And what I wanna do, I wanna make sure and super duper sure that nothing from the bottom is going to shine through you guys know somebody else somebody asked last night about the washi tape on my on my blocks and when you go somewhere you you know you're stamping with other people put washi tape on there and then you'll always know which um which blocks are yours quick tip there okay so we're using pretty peacock and i'm going to <clears throat> i'm going to stamp i'm going to ink this up I'm going to ink it up really good. So again, like I said, I only want the deck the halls part. So see, see my deck the halls is going to be really good. And then I'm just going to take this off. Ta -da! Look at that. So now what I'm going to do is take this, make sure that's nice and clean, stamp just like that. Make sure it soaks into the paper. And now I have the deck the halls. Yay. Super easy. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close that up because I will make a mess. Okay, so we're going to bring in the big shot because we're going to cut this and then we're going to cut this top part that's on top of the wine, the wine bottle. I'm going to give you the other measurements in a second. Okay, so let's bring the big shot in and we can do both of these at one time, which will be super easy. So here's the big shot and I've got some other, I got some other projects going on. So I've got like a bunch of stuff on here. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. <laughs> okay, so I have my deck the halls and I'm gonna put my deck the halls right here. Deck the halls, sassafras. Okay, so I have that there. And then this is what I'm doing for this. All I'm doing is using this. I'm using the layered, um, the layered, sti not stitched, um, scalloped. The, the scalloped ones and then the one inside is not scalloped. And I'll show you how it comes out. And we're going to use that and it's going to make that cute little, whoops. It's going to make that cute little um, kind of ring there. Wait, I want that straight. And then I'm gonna put this in and I don't wanna move it. I'm gonna go, whoo, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna go super slow. Hi, Betty, hi, Marco. All right, let's move this and let's take off our stuff from off of the plate. Let's scoot it that way. Okay, so we have our deck the halls. Woohoo, very nice. And look at this. Remove those out. So we have a circle we can use for something. We don't want to throw that away. But then we have this that has the little scalloped edge, the little scalloped edge around it. Sweet, sweet. All right, let's get, let's get to putting this puppy together. All right, 
So what I have here, this is the, the base of my tag, and this is cut at two and a half by eight inches. And again, all this is gonna be on your um, project sheet, okay? Because I know you guys, you guys seem to like that project sheet last week. So when I do stuff here, I'm gonna make sure that you guys have a project sheet, okay? I hope that's okay <laughs> with everybody. All right. So we also have this, our designer series paper. And this again is from that Christmas gleaming set. And the de designer series paper is cut at two and three eighths by four and seven eighths. And I'm gonna put my snail on here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. It's getting so close to the holidays. Oh my goodness. It is almost time. I've got a craft bear that's coming up too. So I think that's the reason why I'm like kind of freaking out. Not really, but kind of. All right. So that part is down and looks very pretty. Now we scored this at two and a quarter, which is right there. Scored it at two and a quarter. And again, you guys are going to have all this on your project sheet, which will be totally free in the Stampin' with Raquel file section. Now what we're gonna do, you guys see this? We're gonna cut this part off right, right there. And I'm just gonna take my scissors. You guys can, you know guys, make a banner like super quick, just use your scissors and cut on both sides. And I'm using my super big scissors and I'm just gonna just cut off just like that. So that part is done. And let's see. Oh, good. You guys like the project sheet. Great, great. Okay, cause so I'm gonna do another one, and it'll be, it'll be in the, you know, like the group file section. Okay. So this part is done. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little piece that we cut out. This was a piece from the other that comes out of this, which I've already done. And we're gonna glue this right on there. So this will match with this, which is always good. I love stuff that matches together. I'm gonna use my green glue. And whoops, I kind of bent it a little bit. I have this Band-Aid on because I um, was washing dishes and I broke a glass. I know, so, so silly, but I'm okay. I'm gonna live, I'm gonna make it. Sometimes I, you know, I have to, I have to wonder, I do stuff like that. I'm like, what? Oh my gosh. Okay. So this fits right there, right? Just like that. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. So we have that part down. Now we want, and I have an extra one here. Now we want to use these. Did you guys see these? How cute are they? They are super thin super super thin and they come in um a little packet like this they're brightly gleaming foil and elements so this has that copper there are flowers on there or leaves rather and sorry i don't want it to be like in your face there um there are other ornaments on here um there are two stars there and then there's a little star right there so these are cute. These are awesome to, to use. And I don't think they're that expensive either because, you know, we want all this to kind of coincide and be, you know, a good price for everything too. So I'm just going to, I'm going to put a little bit of snail. I mean, snail, just a little bit of green glue. And I'm only doing the green glue up at the top. And I'll tell you why. This is the part that I'm going to use at the top. And I use it very, very sparingly, just not a lot at all. I'm gonna just put this right there. Can you guys see? Okay, good, you can see. And I have my ribbon. This is that beautiful, beautiful ribbon. Look at this. This is called Classic Weave Ribbon, but it says Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I love it. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. And my, my thought was, okay, if it says Merry Christmas, I want it to say Merry Christmas so that both sides like come through. So in other words, I want this to say Merry Christmas and this to say Merry Christmas. So I kind of just twisted that when I made my bow, twisted it right underneath it, just like that. And then you can put it down. So 
just like that, okay? Maybe I can even, can I even that out? No, of course not. It's not gonna let me do it while I'm, while I'm on camera. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just take some of these glue dots. Do you guys see how easy this is coming? Do you know you can make so many of these? Can you imagine having these at your table at Christmas time or even underneath the tree for when family comes by? Oh my gosh, they're gonna love you forever. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's our bow. And we're gonna pop it up. Oh, look how pretty. Ugh. Okay, so down here, I'm gonna use some dimensionals. Now here's, here's the thing with the dimensionals. I only want the dimensionals on this side. So I'm really gonna push, push, push them over as far as possible. Okay, so this and then maybe one in the center because I don't want one out here on the outside. Okay, so I have two of them next to each other and hoping that they, that will be popped up enough, which it usually is. It has so far. Just like that, because I want it to hang out just a little bit ever, ever so slightly on the outside. And where is my... Here we go. We need this. And then what else do we need? I need a little blue. Um, <laughs> here we go. These are the pretty peacock, noble peacock rhinestones. We are going to use a noble peacock rhinestone. And let's see, we put it over on this side this time. Let's do the same. Okay. Right there. And then the last thing that we're going to use are the star elements. Oh my gosh. How cute. I love the star elements. And let me tell you why. Because these would absolutely make just, they just make a cute accent, a very cute accent to whatever it is you're doing, especially if you're doing it with the copper. It has all these, like the paper has the copper accents. There's the copper. And then you have this copper in the ribbon. Sweet. So sweet. Okay, look at that. And then you're done. How easy was that? Oh my goodness. Okay. So I have two. I have two. This one is the white card. This is the one that I really, really like. And it's um, sparkling. I don't know. We had, so when New Year's came around, this is what we would get is, is like a little communion cup full of this. I mean, no, not a church. It wasn't a church. <laughs> it wasn't a church. <laughs> but, um, but look at that. How cute. Ah, oh my goodness. What do you guys think? I think they're super cute. Okay, well, that's it. That's my show for tonight. I will have the project sheet up. And you guys, if you want to make these things, they're so stinking easy to make. Super, super easy. I hope you liked everything that I made. And I will talk to you guys next Wednesday. Okay, next Wednesday. And then I, it's going to be Thanksgiving. Before you know it, it'll be Thanksgiving. So thanks for joining me. You guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your week. Thank you, Margo. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Kay. You guys have been awesome. Thank you to everyone that's going to be watching the replay. I appreciate you so, so much. So come back here next Wednesday. I will see you then. And um, we'll make some more projects, okay? Bye, guys.